friends, I hope you're all having a great day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kate. I am trying to get on uh, CBS's The Amazing Race, and this is me uh, showing you my journey to that point, if that point ever comes, which I really hope it does. First, before we get into the story, really quick, uh, The Amazing Race retweeted me on Twitter. That was cool. Uh, this happened. I had been literally listening to the finale live on my phone on the CBS app while I was driving home and then I immediately tweeted about it and they retweeted me and it was glorious and I got so many hate comments from random strangers but it was really cool and now they know who I am like someone in the amazing race knows who I am in some way shape or form someone who's like an intern at like CBS for social media knows who I am so this is like the first step at like getting cast, I think, in my head. Also, I changed my Twitter bio to talk about The Amazing Race. I changed my YouTube bio. I changed all kinds of stuff so that if people are like perusing, they can be like, oh, she's trying to get on The Amazing Race. We should put her on The Amazing Race. So, <laughs> so this week, I am here to bring you a little bit of a story time that also like relates to The Amazing Race. So yesterday, I went go-kart racing. I haven't driven a go-kart since I was nine, 10, somewhere in that realm and I only did it once and I went really really slow and I was really really scared and yeah it didn't it didn't it didn't go great but I've never driven one since then and I was gonna go go-kart racing these like NASCAR go-karts that go like 45 miles an hour I've had some really great opportunities while I'm practicing and preparing to audition for the amazing race to do some really cool things and kind of start to push my boundaries and that's something that I want to do in the future so I thought this was a great opportunity to have fun and prepare for the amazing race I don't know if there's gonna be a go-kart challenge um, so I went and I met up with my boyfriend and then two of his friends and it was gonna be really nice and then we had to put the helmets on then I got scared they're like these huge like they have the flap in front and they're like these big helmets and it covers all this space and like I'm I'm not gonna lie I'm a, I get a little claustrophobic sometimes um, a lot of the a lot of the time I felt like I couldn't breathe I was like oh my god what am I gonna do and then I started getting in my head and I'm like if what about the amazing race like if I can't do this then I can't even like do what they need me to do on the show I'm gonna get eliminated first I might not even get picked for the show like it was a whole like thing in my head but instead of letting it get to me basically what I did is I took the helmet off for a second I took a breath and I was like Pretend that this is the amazing race. Pretend that you're doing this for a million dollars and there's cameras following you, watching you. And then uh, my boyfriend was there and he knew that I was, he could see it in my face that I was kind of dealing with it. And he told me that he was right there and it was gonna be okay. So I put my helmet back on, I took a breath and then I did it. I had so much fun, we did three rounds and I did it all three times. When I was doing it also I started focusing on the actual driving. So the first time, I was kind of slow getting used to it. The second time I went faster, and the third time I went even faster. And so I was basically thinking like, oh, if it's a challenge on The Amazing Race, and it's like, oh, you need to beat the course in this amount of minutes, or you need to go this about, or finish, or whatever The Amazing Race challenge would be, the roadblock would be, or the whatever it would be. I wanted to do that so every time I did it I did it a little faster and a little faster and I know on the amazing race you want to get it perfect the first time but the important thing is to not stop if you don't get it perfect you don't get discouraged you're not like I'm never gonna be able to do this you just refocus and every time it's like your first time looking back there were certain challenges that looked a little complicated and a lot of teams struggled with I'm on season 17 right now and this is where they either had to like find the film strip and all the big pile of film strips or they had to go and listen for a tune on like a hundred pianos playing to find like the right one and like they were getting really discouraged and I can't even imagine the pressure that you're under in that situation but also I know that I need to take a deep breath and just keep going like don't stop just refocus take a breath figure out exactly what you need to do and the easiest way to do it because sometimes there's more than one way to look at a problem and I can't let my nervousness or my fears get in the way of that because if I get on this show I'm going for the million dollars like I'm not gonna just stop just because something's a little scary or I'm out of my comfort zone so yeah that's how uh, go-karting helped prepare me for the amazing race in other news congratulations broken Scott on your win of the season that's amazing also to let you in on a, a secret there might be an audition for the amazing race 
coming to my city in the next couple weeks and I might go. <laughs> okay friends, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit that subscribe button. Question of the day, who did you root for this last season of The Amazing Race? Let me know down in the comments down below. Alrighty friends, thank you so much for watching me today. I will talk to you soon. Bye.